Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Deus Ex Invisible War. This is our fifth episode, and we're finally getting started down in Lower Seattle. Took us long enough to get down there. Let's go- no, not a new game. Shit. This is where gripes about the interface become very easy to see. It's just everything was suboptimal. The game didn't work smoothly on an Xbox or a PC because it was a pretty crummy effort at making it work on both. Anyway. High Augur Lin Mei Chen serves at Her Holiness' right hand as her supreme advisor. Sweet. Anyway, now we're getting started in Lower Seattle. Apologies for the delay. <coughs> Lower Seattle slums. There's nothing here by the Inclinator. Got a couple bums over there. There's the Greasel Pit Bar. There's a sewer entrance. We got a dumpster here, which I'm of course interested in checking out. Looks like we got an ammo clip and some food. More food. Just tossing stuff out to make sure I don't miss anything. Looks like that dumpster is clear. That goes to the Heron's Loft Apartments, and that leaves the area, so let's talk to They're the bums. They're gonna shut the Inclinator down completely. I've been saying that since it was built. You said it wasn't gonna work, too. Then you said it was gonna get us a job. You said everything ten times over. You call that predicting the future? Think like that, and they already got you script, man. That's their play. Make out like it was some low-town plot to see how we react. Doesn't bother me. Only time I went up the Inclinator was when I got arrested. Careful walking around here at night. They'll always need us for their dirty work. Like my brother Danny. He cleans the bots that clean the floors up there. How would he get to work without the Inclinator? He cleans cleaner bots? I guess they never invented a bot that cleans other bots. Well, they will. The whole point of an Enclave is to be self-sufficient. Once they're established, they'll crash a helicopter into the Inclinator and blame it on a drunk smuggler. It's not so much the people as the gobs. You know, mutants. I lost my big toe to a greasel a couple years ago. I was a little drunk and it came at me from underneath a dumpster. Wish I could have afforded a real doctor. The woman I saw, she was more interested in hunting down the greasel than fixing my toe. It was a baby greasel that got me. The doctor caught it, raised it, and made a killing in the fights. I never saw one credit from the very gob I discovered and helped to track down. Still the champ, I think. They call it Gobzilla. Real cute. Whenever I talk about it, my toe starts to hurt. Thanks a lot. I'm not showing you my foot. I never saw one credit from the very gob. I will I say this. Help to track down. <clears throat> The dialogue is still good. Not as good as the original, but one of this game's high points. Know where I can get a decent pilot? Can't afford anyone in Upper Seattle. Don't expect to get a better deal just because you're in a scabby part of town. I'm ready to pay well, if the pilot's worth it. If it was me, I'd hire a smuggler. Someone with some experience, you know? Then the WTO Air Patrol could kiss my ass. Best place for that sort of thing is the Greasel Pit. It's just on the other side of the Inclinator Tunnel. I'm looking for the Order Church. They've set up in the abandoned Hartford Turbine Factory. You a seeker? You don't look the type. No. She means that the Order doesn't pull down many Enclave thieves. Plenty of kooks up there, but they're afraid of the old neighborhoods. The church won't turn me away, though, will they? Nah, they don't mind if you hang out in the chapel. As long as you don't fall asleep. Man, did I find that out the hard way. So where's the factory? Head south, up the hill from the Inclinator. The old factory's just southeast, across the street. So you have a theory about the Inclinator disaster? Not a theory. Fact. Fact. 
Inclinator traffic is half what it was two years ago. Fact. People this side of the Inclinator can't even get Metro passes anymore. It's a complete WTO takeover, just like I predicted five years ago. So it wasn't an accidental spill? You believe everything you hear at a public terminal? The media is controlled by the WTO. Even the sorry scab standing next to me knows that. Want to make some money? You a gambler? Depends on the odds and the game. Two words, cop fights. I'm not kidding. Every night at the Greasel Pit on the other side of the Inclinator Tunnel. Lived here my whole life. I know this town better than anyone. I can predict the future because I know the past. It's not just logic, though. I think I have the gift. I tried to work up a system for the commodities market, but it turns out my talent's more for general trends than specifics. Need a straight answer? About anything, I'll be standing right here. You're pretty friendly for a rich kid. Sure, stand here as long as you want. We're not doing anything important. You get tired of talking to the same idiots day after day. Lived here my whole life. Okay. I know this town better than anyone. Let's hit the sewers before we do anything else. There are a couple of Karkians down here, if I remember right. I don't think they're nearly as brutal as they were in the first game. Alright, well that was pretty brutal, actually. But it's not like I have anything else to do with all this food. I think I can do better than that, though. <laughs> Mainly considering I got the first one down without any hits. Hunter-Seeker bots are the most agile and stealthy of all bots. The Hunter-Seeker defense is enhanced by its ability to cloak and avoid prox mines. Let's get this. Let's get this guy first. buddy. Much better. Now, I don't know if they're actually, uh, I don't know if they're actually unconscious or dead, but like Deus Ex, I don't really care. As long as they're not human. Anyway, we got a med kit over in this corner. Here, we have a dead Omar Protector. So you just know there's going to be some good stuff here. The Red Greasel Hunter. It's another one of those unique weapons, a pistol. Let's check it out. Street modified 9mm equipped with infrared stealth light. Used by mercenaries collecting sewer greasel bounties. So the cool thing about that, if you use a normal pistol, the flashlight alerts enemies to your presence. The infrared light on the red greasel hunter does not. Not all that useful, but still handy. We got 50 credits, a spider bomb, 100 credits, an energy blade, and a Scrambler Prox Mine. I haven't seen a Scrambler Prox Mine yet. This type of proximity mine transmits an electronic signal that temporarily causes bots to attack their allies. Plant on any flat surface to be activated later by close range movement. In alternate firing mode, the mine detonates after a brief duration. Yep, not interested. Take my gas grenade, thank you very much. Oh, <clears throat> considering we've already found two out of six unique weapons, you might th be thinking, this game must be short. And I'm here to tell you, you're right. This game is short. Much shorter than the first one. Oh, yeah, I'll go ahead and say that it's too short. It's tiny length is a flaw, if you ask me.
Anyway, now we'll head into the Greasel Pit. <laughs> the Greasel Pit. No active weapons in the Greasel Pit. First, I gotta transmit the safety lock codes to freeze anything you're carrying. Then I let you in. Otherwise, take a hike. Go ahead. Send the code. Thanks. There's sensors that will reactivate everything on your way out. You're clear to go in now. So I can't use, uh... As strange as it seems, the weapon lock the code even works on a baton. Oh, does he want to keep talking? Rules is rules. You ready to go? You'll be scanned at the exit. It'll unlock everything. Just trying to run an honest business where people can drink without worrying about getting shot at. I do kind of miss the frisking, though. Rules is rules. All right. You ready to go? You'll be scanned at the exit. It'll unlock everything. Nothing inside those lockers. I do kind of miss the frisking. Let's head into here. Here we go. But what about the apartment? I already picked up my gear. Your gear? You're leaving? Sid, you made me get this big place. Do you know how high my rent is? Come on, I'll be back. You know this is home to me, Cindy. Sandy. Sandy, right. But a captain's got to sail if he wants to keep his ship. Yes, I'm upset. Leave me alone. He's always leaving me. It's always like this when he goes away. He was gonna take me with him this time. I'll get by, I guess. He's always leaving me. It's always like this when All he goes right, away. Alright, now let's talk to Sid Black. Well, well. An enclave kid comes down to cruise the slums on Daddy's credit line. First time at sea level? My parents are dead. They were in Chicago at the time of the attack. Oh. Sorry, mate. Just talking chaff. No offense. Sure. Sid Black. Call me Sid. Best jet jockey in the Northern Hemisphere. So, you're on your own? If you need a lift, I'm game. All you gotta do is bail out my jet and give me a little something for my trouble. Who has your jet? Sophia Sack. Crime boss of the port. Holds court in the Heron's Loft building on the other side of town past the Order Church. Took my jet because she said I came up short on a shipment, but she's a lying thief. Everyone knows Sid's never lost a load. How much do you charge your passengers? The going rate. But I'm up to Swanee until I get those mercs away from my jet. Maybe you could arrange an accident, know what I mean? Eliminate Sack and her two-bit security force. You look like the type. Dougal. Pilot Sid. Liberate Jet. Get Sid Black's jet from Sophia Sack at the Heron's Loft building. Pay his debt or defeat Sack and her security force. I could have sworn I got something else. An image. Yes, here we go. Image. Sid Black. A jet. Sorry, old boy. Can't do much till I get my wings back. I can tell when a man's had some combat training. Have to in my business. Just saying goodbye to my girl. Always chokes me up a little. Cindy. Lovely girl. Kind of a farfa to live with, though. <laughs> Just kidding, babe. Ha ha. Chicks never listen when I say I run freight. Gotta be mobile to make a living in this trade. My looks about dried up in this town, if you want to know the truth. Hope they haven't sold my ride for scrap yet. No worries, if you want to deal with Miss Sack for me, my lips are sealed. Let me know how it goes with Miss Sack. See you later. Sorry, old boy. Okay, I get my wings he's done. Back. So let's move in here. Let's see. Where to first? The pool room or the bar? Let's go to the bar first. Pits downstairs. 
want a tip, bet on Green Dragon. The thing about a Greasel fight, it has more to do with upbringing than breeding. A Greasel's a Greasel. I heard it's just one strain, a genetic experiment. The company was called VersaLife. This guy said he was a Knight Templar. He gave me some literature. It said that the Greasel tech was gonna be for humans. Lizard soldiers who could survive gas attacks, that kind of thing. A lot of down and outs around here are signing up for this Templar outfit. Me, I take everything with a grain of salt. Sure, you see a lot more mutants around, but they aren't a threat to humanity or anything. Maybe the pre-collapsed government was going to crossbreed a couple of soldiers. So what? It's not like they'd ever do that to the general population. <laughs> As for Green Dragon, she's the real thing. Sewer-born, rat-fed, a hunter, you know? I'd put my money on Green Dragon. Good talking to you. Gabs in this town, they'd join any group that put a few credit chits in their pockets. You better let me get back to work. Pits downstairs. Alright, he's done. Back here we just got wine and beer. Not a whole lot else, but we do have some lockers. This one's even got 50 credits in it. This one's got a multi-tool. Perfect. What do we have over here? Hollow jukebox. NG resonance again. Another multi-tool here down by the jukebox. Oh, look! It's Leo Jankowski. Leo. Chicago, you made it out. What are you doing down here? Signing up with the Order Church like Billy? Hm. Terrorists. The WTO? Chief Morgan seems pretty intent on recruiting us. Leeches. They want a monopoly on everything, including security agents. Then what are you gonna do? You need work? You go to the pit. This is what I did. I found work. Mercenary. Black market. In a few hours, they sent me to Egypt. You said you never heard of Leo Jankowski? Well, you just wait. I thought you wanted to be a corporate heavy. I've been thinking about this. I don't want to be a lab monkey or be in anybody's army. I don't want to be a piece of meat they fight over. Corporate heavy, maybe. But right now, I work for myself. Why Egypt? I'm working for the Omar. You know, the cyborgs. They're a global operation these days. What are they paying you? I'm protection to help them open shop in a scab land Medina near New Cairo. 2,000 per week, plus mods. Not bad. What kind of mods? Anything I want. Anything. The best mods are black market, attack drones, bot domination. This will add value when I go back to the corporate market. Well, good luck out there. Also, my Omar contact says they have stuff that goes way beyond biomods. Luck will not be a factor for me. I've learned some things about the experiments they were doing on us. Yeah? Tarsus is a front for something called Apostle Core. They gave us an experimental biomod architecture. One that can supposedly reconfigure anybody's DNA to accept nanite infusions. Well, as long as it works. That's what the Order and WTO are fighting over. Universal biomodification. Universal? Are you sure? That would screw up the market pretty bad. Why would Tarsus want to undercut their own product? I told you. Tarsus is a front. No one's quite sure what Apostle Corps is after. Funny way to end up a free agent. <clears throat> I'm not anybody's pet project. I wonder if they even cared how we did at the training. Or was it purely a medical test? Funny way to end up a free agent. All right. We got a bottle of wine on the table. Over here we've got an order seeker and a thug. But I talked to Mr. Pellet. One on one. He laid it all out. Straight up. Uh-huh. Templars stand for something, you know. It's ancient. It's philosophy. And it scripts the paps off all that her holiness love and meditate and mumble to yourself. These guys are mercenaries. They pitch whatever creed their boss tells them to. You just haven't ever really studied the Knights Templar. They have the same basic ideas as the Order Church, but they believe it, they fight for it, and they don't rip off a bunch of other religions. Her holiness wants to bring everyone together. It's called Koinonia. <laughs> Fellowship and communication. Yeah, Koinonia. I, I think it's Greek. You see, it's just little parrots. Cheep, cheep, cheep. Repeating a new batch of words every week. There's a new sheriff in town, in case you want to know. My new boss, we call him Mr. Paladin. He made me a knight. 
That's right. Like Sir Francis Drake. Like Sir Francis Bacon. Like Sir, uh, I can't remember what the other one was. A lot of people say they're seekers. But they just go along with the order church because it's so in your face all the time. People are mad. Sewer gobs killing their kids. Pollution. Nanite swells as big as hurricanes. Cyborgs in the alleys. Onward, order, all fall out from the big labs. What I'm about? Take back. Take back our streets. Take back our bodies. Take back our minds. Just wait. Templar's gonna have their day. My new boss. All right. We'll call him. I am studying Acolot, the mental factor for inebriation. That was a joke. Seekers can make jokes, can't they? Our faith spread like wildfire just after the collapse, but now everywhere I go, I see skepticism. Perhaps my friend is right. Perhaps our terminology has become too sophisticated. Our message was much simpler in the beginning. We need to find the right balance between truth and persuasion, between a complete science of mind and the value system that follows from it. Templar bigotry is merely a bastard creed. It has nothing to do with a search for true order. If the Templar's twisted ideas are permitted to spread, they will lead only to great suffering. These issues must be brought before Her Holiness. Our faith spread like All wildfire right. just after the collapse, but now everywhere just I go, just a beer on the table. So, to yourself. let's move out. Now we'll go to the pool room. How's it going? Talk to everyone first. Hey, yeah, I got a lot on my mind. Talking about personal space, yo. Hey, yeah, I got a lot on my mind. What do you want? Can't get nothing from me. I'm all washed up. Used to have this little single prop airplane. Flew an ammo run for Sophia Sack. Not bad for a scab like me. Then of course I had to crash land into Lake Washington. My bird sunk to the bottom. Luckily though, I'm in good shape. I swam over a mile to get to shore. Now I'm a big joke. People say I lost everything because I was drunk. It was engine trouble that brought me down. But of course, it's my word against theirs. Never was too lucky. That's why I don't bet on the fights. Can't get nothing from me. I'm all washed all right. up. Let's talk to the girl. More uptown thieves every day. Got a can of soda and 50 credits on the pool table. You're probably here for the fights. Well, that spit contest ain't fighting. The pit used to be my gig, back when the sewer wasn't overrun with gobs. I was the champ, three whole months on top of the world. Give me a good clean fist fight any day. Strategy, training, skill. Now that's something to bet on. I don't get it. These new fights, they're just a couple of starved lizards at each other's throats. They fight them to the death. That's the main difference from when it was humans in the pit. Watching two poor gods tear each other apart. Now what's that say about human nature? Watching two poor gods tear each other apart. All right, I don't see anything in the lockers. So let's check out the public terminal. Responding to the rioting in Trier, WTO Director Chad Dumier made a gesture of reconciliation today. He offered to meet with Order High Priestess Her Holiness for talks designed to ease misunderstanding between the two groups. The WTO is wrongly equated with blind commercialism, says Dumier, just as the Order is wrongly equated with fanaticism. If we learn to listen to each other, we can coexist peacefully. The WTO fully supports freedom of thought and freedom of religion. No response yet from the Order. Anti-WTO rioting broke out for the third time recently at the Panzerworks factory in Trier. Many blame Order agitators for the violence. You drink only the finest, most authentic coffee because you demand excellence in everything you do. You're well aware that some coffee chains use polymerized flavor additives, freeze-dried beans, even coffee proteins that have been synthesized by bacteria. You also know that Queequeg's coffee imports exclusively from independent coffee growers from around the world. Queequeg's coffee, true to the letter, means it tastes even better. Time again for a dog bullet! 
in the bullseye today, Lin Mei Chen, High Augur of the Order Church. Miss Chen, do you believe one damn thing you've said since you've become a spokesperson for the church? Well, of course, I... Because I think her holiness is a fiction. That's right, a fiction. Why doesn't she show her face when she appears in public? Well... Because these are body doubles for a phony messiah. Tell me, who writes the little AI constructs that go into those hologram chapels cropping up everywhere? Don't play dumb with me, Miss Chin. Mr. Steed, on the contrary. Go ahead, lie to me. Lie to the public and lie to the poor saps who worship you and her Mr. holiness. Mr. It will just make your day of reckoning that much more devastating. This has been another Todd Bullet. <laughs> Most of us don't reside inside the well-guarded walls of an enclave. Most of us would be surprised to see a uniformed officer on our street, outside our business, on our way to the market. Our protection is our own responsibility, and that's why Mako Ballistics offers handheld weapons to suit any household budget or security threat. Stop your attacker with a stun prod, an electromagnetic bolt caster, a pistol, dual action shotgun, or SMG machine gun. Whatever your security concerns, you can make it with Mako. Responding to the riot. All right. <clears throat> That's everything there. Let's head to the back now. Before I head down those stairs, let's grab another can of soda and talk to this dude. Another lucky night. Bet a hundred on chicken liver. Five to one odds, baby. First fight of the night. Take it from me. You missed a wet one. I'm making a point to scope out the rookies. They're too young to have fight records, so a lot of times their odds are all out of whack. I knew Chicken Liver was a serious player because of the chipped teeth. Some people like to gamble. Me, I just like to win. You gotta have a system, know what I'm saying? Another lucky night. Alright, this just spits me back out in the bar. I do like this. In case of fire, your nearest exit is over there. Alternate route is deep breaths. Unbelievable. All right. A new face. Interesting. Introduce yourself. Is this a prank call or something? Funny way to meet people. I search every place I can. You're very close, but not quite the one I'm looking for. Close to what? You look modified. So? I need help. I'm a helicopter pilot. They're holding me captive, along with my chopper, at the WTO terminal in Upper Seattle. Right, I heard about your helicopter. How'd you get this call past WTO security? I've tapped into the terminal's local network. The passcode to the hangar holding my vehicle is 00485. Get me out of here, and I'll fly you anywhere you want, free of charge. I could use a pilot. I'll think about it. New goal. <clears throat> Pilot Ava, rescue helicopter. We've got an image of her helicopter, and we got a new key code. So... Secondary goal, Pilot Ava, rescue helicopter. Rescue Pilot Ava Johnson and her chopper from the WTO terminal in Upper Seattle. And there's a picture of her helicopter. Lovely. She's got nothing else to say. We've got a multi-tool on the shelf in here. All right, let's check out this other side room. Back room, whatever. Looks like it's a bathroom. There's a can of soda. Beers, beers. Nothing else. Oh, bathroom, what do you know? All right, let's head down the stairs now. Another multi-tool in the locker. Perfect. Beer on top. And we arrive at the pit. Just get off my back. Let's talk to everyone. Badge seven. Gobs are in the shoot. Buy in is the house minimum. Odds are one to one. You really have cockfights with transgenics down here? Hey, better watch the feeb speak around the pit or these scabs. Not me, of course, but these other scabs might take advantage. You know what I'm saying? Sorry. So how do I know it's transgenic to bet on? They all look the same to me. You work in a lab or something? Something like that. Well, we fight gobs down here. Green gobs, brown gobs, baby stealing, sewer slinking, good eating gobs. Follow me? Right now, it's green dragon in the north shoot, shutterbug in the south. Walk around, check the fighters, and let me know where you want to put your money. Let me think about it. Let me think about it. Make it quick, Gobzilla's on deck. Let's talk to everybody else now.
There's a 25 credit shit right there. Let's talk to this dude. Mean sons of bitches, that's for sure. I never bet. I just like to see him fight. You should have seen the first match. There was blood and acid slime hanging from the rafters. One of these god things got in my brother's house one night. Damn near killed his wife. Now she walks with a cane and can't see five feet in front of her face. My sister-in-law, she's saving up for a bionic eye. But I guess Piazza Kim has a monopoly on the surgery, thanks to the WTO. So it's kind of a pipe dream, if you ask me. The price is set in stone. A lot of misery in this world. Doesn't take a philosopher to see that. I remember when this town was full of seagulls. Now it's a wasteland. Rubble, vacant buildings, mutants everywhere. They eat each other. They eat people's pets. They eat bums that fall asleep by the wrong sewer drain. And I brought children into this world. Whatever they say, this ain't cruelty. This right here, starving these gobs and making them go at it, this is justice. Mean sons of bitches, that's All right. For sure. Is there anything behind here? No. Let's check the lockers. Nothing there. Let's talk to this guy. Looking for a sure thing? She's right under the grate there. Check out the scales on that girl. That's Green Dragon, a new gob fresh from the sewer. Mean as nails. She been in many fights? A greasel don't grow up wild and not get in fights. I said this gob is fresh, understand? Been hunting scab winos for years. I'll take your word for it. Hey, Jack, listen up. Wanna script some real cash? You look like the mercenary type. Depends on what you mean by script. Final match is four to one odds. Buy-in begins right after this fight, after which the odds stand, even if something happens to one trainer's lineup. You want me to kill someone's Greasel? Shh, I'm talking about the champ Godzilla. Follow me? She's still at Tina's pad in the Heron's loft building near the Inclinator, apartment 22. I'll give you a bounty if that gob dies. Plus, you get to make bank on the four to one situation. Cool? I'll think about it. New goal. <clears throat> Secondary goal. Greasel trainer. Kill Gobzilla. Kill the Greasel in apartment 22 of the Heron's Loft building and return to the Greasel pit to collect a reward. Alright. Let's check out the rest of this area. We got another 25 credit shit here. And right here, we've got a 50 credit shit. Let's talk to this last woman. The bookie's at the south door. That shutterbug under the floor raised it from a little pump. A lot of people look down their noses at homebred gobs, but it's the training that counts, in my opinion. The scientific name for these mutants is Greasel. Training so important because Greasels all come from the same genetic line made by a company called Versalife, which I guess must have gone bankrupt after the collapse. Gotta get my Ekagat in tune for the match. That's what the Order Church calls concentration. Can't call the moves if you don't have a balanced mind. Not now. I'm concentrating. Not now. I'm all concentrating. All right. So when you bet on this fight, it's a good idea to take everyone's advice and bet on the sewer gob. What's it gonna be? Shutterbug sometimes wins, so you want to save, but it's much better odds if you bet on Green Dragon. My money's on Green Dragon. Yeah, Green Dragon. I put my money on sewer gobs every time. They're meaner. How much you want to bet? Here you go. Name's Alex D. D for Upper Seattle Dandy. D for Don't Ask. Well, better get your buns over to the pit. Your gob's dropping into the fire. Go ahead, bet the maximum. Rip him shreds! That's more like it! See? Green Dragon just slaughtered Shutterbug. I never bet. I just like to see him fight. Now for the big time. Now for the big time. Poor girl. This was her first fight. That's a lot of hours you're looking at down there. A lot of hours trying to beat some sense into that prehistoric brain. When the spit starts flying, a gob's gotta stay tuned into the coach. 
That's what happened. Bug got scared and quit taking my commands. Poor girl. All this right, let's get our fight. money. The man can pick his gods. I won. I think you owe me some money. Save the attitude, D. The pit pays. Here you go. Double your money. House takes 10%. Thanks. Come back later tonight. Tina's bringing in the champ, Gobzilla. It's gonna be Gobzilla versus Snake Eyes. Four to one odds. Bet on Snake Eyes, you might just quadruple your money. Thanks for the tip. Credits increased by 950. That's good news. It'll take us a while to get cleaned up for the next match. Next one's the World Championship. Betting starts ten minutes before the fight. A lot like life, isn't it? Only one gambler comes out on top. Ever since the collapse, the whole world's a pit. Except instead of gobs, it's cults. WTO, Order, Omar, Templars. They're all the same. Just so long as it doesn't come to open war. Seems like every day, someone else is building an army. It'll take us a while to get cleaned up. Alright, we're done in here for now. So let's head on out of the Greasel pit. We'll get our weapons back as soon as we leave, just like they promised. No way. Just trying to run an honest business with people with dreams without worrying about you. Using the neural interface biomod, you can control or shut down cameras from a security computer. We might have already read that one, I don't know. Anyway, now that we're out here. Let's go up these stairs. See some Omar up here. Some others too. Let's talk to the protector. The traitor first. handles business. I am here to prevent unfair transactions. Scan complete. Your biomods are quite new, but we offer technology you cannot find in Piezocam's labs. You will be impressed. Speak with the traitor. Yelmar appreciate shrewd customers. Scan complete. Your biomods are quite new, but we are right. technology you cannot find in Piezocam's labs. Now there's good stuff in there, but we will offend the Omar if we try to hack it or open up their chest, so. Shall we conduct business? What are you selling? I have a black market biomod canister, which enables non piezocam functionality. I am also selling three energy cells for powering your biomodified systems. Or you might want two EMP grenades for disrupting electronic devices, such as surveillance equipment. As a preferred customer, you may purchase items at half market price. Let's get the black market biomod. I'll take the black market biomod. Omar, appreciate your business. Alright. <clears throat> Let's see, I've maxed that out. I think I wanted to get electrostatic discharge here. So, let's do that. Next one we find at level 2, increased EMP damage. That'll be pretty straightforward. I'm pretty sure they'll get mad, but let's try it. Final warning, switching combat. Yes. That's what I thought. Cameras and turrets are resistant to bullets, but more vulnerable to explosives, EMP attacks, and multi-tools. Twenty years ago, at Area 51, J.C. Denton agreed to join an AI construct known as Helios to create a consciousness capable of managing the New World Order. I wanted to try out my new electrostatic discharge. The Omar are modified enough that they're tr actually treated like robots. Meetings. Meetings. Warning. High subcutaneous voltage. Anyway. We'll just have to leave them alone for now. Let's talk to this guy. You don't look like you're from around here. Not much is open in this neighborhood this late. At this hour, it's either the Greasel Pit Bar or the Order Church, depending on your interests. Watch your step around here. The locals mean business. 
At least it's interesting down here at this hour. I'm sure they're all in bed in Upper Seattle. At this hour, it's all right. the Greasel Pit Bar or the Order Chip. There's the Queequeg's the Coffee edges. Shop. Crowbar on the ground. I'm not going to mess with it just yet. Let me check out this dumpster. Looks like we got food and an energy cell. If I can just... Ah, there's the problem. And just get Alex in there. We got food. Can't carry any more energy cells, which is fine. I don't think there's anything else under these boxes. There's the order church. Over here is another entrance to Heron's Loft. Let's check out the public terminal and then we're gonna go to the church. Today marks the one year anniversary of the refinery riots, protesting the incorporation of Seattle into the WTO. Mourners held a candlelight vigil in remembrance of those killed in the chaos. After the results of the referendum were announced on this day last year, demonstrators took to the streets to make their anger and disapproval known. Protesters claimed that the vote had been somehow fixed and that the results did not reflect the will of the people, particularly those living outside the enclave. It took several days before peace returned to the streets of Seattle, but there were no further disturbances afterward, although some of the tension lingers. You know that Weequeg's coffee beans are slow roasted in convective drums for maximum fidelity to regional flavor. Yes, you demand authenticity from everything you do, and coffee is no exception. Weequeg's coffee, true to the letter, means it tastes even better. After the decimation of Chicago, the obscure motives of Her Holiness and the Order are only part of what worries security experts. Go under the veil of the Order, and you find that perhaps disorder is a better word for this so-called unified world faith. Harmless missionaries at the train station, or sleeper agents for a regime fundamentally opposed to commercial society. Luminon Saman's inflammatory rhetoric is widely believed to have caused the recent unrest in Trier, Germany. But did adherence to an extreme brand of order philosophy in Europe carry out a strike in the center of the American heartland? Today marks the one-year anniversary. Okay, that's everything from that one. Let's go into the church. Her Holiness. Each time the WTO incorporates another city, the Order raises an impassioned outcry against the spread of materialism and consumerism. It's not too late. Just because you took one assignment for the WTO doesn't mean that the Order won't accept you. Talk to Lin May. The Order needs your help and has its own interest in the Mako facility. My alliances are my own concern, but yes, I'm heading to Mako next. Be careful whom you trust. Only the Order can help you retain your individuality and find spiritual balance. All others are suspect. Is the WTO really that bad? The enclaves are safe and prosperous. It seems like a solid foundation for the future. The WTO, Tarsus, or any other corporate entity seeks only to exploit you. As far as Tarsus is concerned, we're experiments, not people. Just walking petri dishes. You know we're worth more than that. I'll keep all of that in mind. May Your Holiness watch over you. All right. Let's talk to the Seekers in WTO here. WTO Chairman Dumier is irredeemable. He has led too many down the path of greed and disorder. In time, we will open their eyes. We are so fortunate that Her Holiness found us before Dumier could invade our spirits with such ruthless and selfish competition. Each of them knows in his or her heart that something is still missing. True order, and soon they will begin to seek it, and we will be there to help them. Yes. We will share with them the compassion and peace Her Holiness has shown us. Welcome to the Order Sanctuary for this city, Alex D. We've been expecting you. Wasn't exactly easy getting here. We appreciate your dedication. I did what I had to. Please step inside. Join us for meditation. Her Holiness awaits your presence. This is our haven from the madness and greed the WTO tries to spread. Her Holiness inspires us all to reject the materialistic, profit-driven attitudes propagated by the WTO. The Order teaches us to put people first, which should be the natural structure. These are trying times for us all. Fortunately, we have visionaries like Her Holiness to guide our way. The Order teaches us to put people... Welcome, my friend. 
Human society has been twisted and subverted by those blinded by false prophets. Money is not the supreme reward or motivator. We will guide everyone to true order. Her Holiness wants to help all humankind. The people seek money and what it can buy, but what about the heart and the spirit? Everyone loses their way at some point. We just want to help people find the way back. Deep in your heart, you know you will eventually join the search. Everyone loses their way at some point. All right. We just want to help people find the way back. <clears throat> Let's talk to the third seeker. Ah, you seek solace from your everyday troubles. I found peace here among the order. My wish is that you do as well. We have had much luck spreading Her Holiness's word here in Lower Seattle. There are many dissatisfied with the WTO who come here seeking true fulfillment. May you find what you seek. I found peace here among the All right, order. now the let's head over to well. the altar. You owe this search for true order not only to yourself, but also to your fellow humans. There is a far to be Alka Fire of collective duty. You are bound to search and bring the search to others so that all may reach deeper understandings and peace. In the podium, we find... You must strive with your meditations to become a Pandita. Our Hindu brothers originated this goal, that of becoming one who is liberated or self-aware. Through this inward reflection, you can liberate yourself from chaos and disorder. 125 credits in the podium. I'm gonna keep listening to her. Unlocking your server can also help you achieve greater <coughs> As the Muslims before you who revere this attribute, you must be steadfast, and you must be patient. Sometimes the search will be difficult. Obstacles within yourself and people who do not understand may stand in your way. Self-discipline and faith will keep you on the path. Mm. My seekers, you must activate your Kundalini, or your spiritual energy. As you purify your spirit in your search for true order, it will ascend from one spiritual center or chakra in your bodies to another. As it reaches your higher chakras, you will gain new insights, bringing your lives into deeper order. Unlocking your cyber can also... Okay, she's repeating herself. Order. Let's approach her now. Alex D. of Tarsus Academy, you are alive. You always speak the truth, Your Holiness. Have faith. The Order of Church condemns the illegal biomodification experiments performed on you and the other trainees. Biomods are part of the training. We knew what they do to our tissues. Your biomod architecture is no piezochem clone. The trainees' DNA has been completely rewritten. We are certain the one called Leo would have been ineligible for biomodification without extensive gene replacement. Sounds like typical R&D, an innovation that would expand the biomod market. The technology's uses exceed what you might expect. It could standardize the human organism, make all ability and talent into software modules, radically disrupt the social order. You think there's a political agenda behind my biomods? Yes. We have rescued you so that you can help us identify and defeat your creators. Please listen to my high auger, Lin Mei Chen. She will contact you at the Holocom in the other room. You must strive with your meditations to become a Pandita. Our Hindu brothers originated this goal, that of becoming one who is liberated All right, down here we find a bolt caster. You can liberate yourself from chaos and, and two phosphorus flares. Nothing particularly interesting there. Um... I'll go down there in a bit. Let's go. You owe this search for true order. Let's go over here to this yourself, office first. To your fellow humans. There is a far to be Alka Fire on collective duty. You are bound to search and bring the search to others so that all may reach deeper understandings. All right. Let's peace. approach the communicator first. I'm here. You said you had more to say about the raid on Tarsus. What went wrong? We're still investigating. I haven't heard from Captain Lamar since he disobeyed my orders. Why should I join a group which is at war with itself? Unifying the world's religions is a difficult enterprise. 
What we must do, and I ask your help in this, is determine what happened to Captain Lamar so that we can assess the operation. Just as you arrived, I got a report that he had abandoned his unit. Incidentally, my agents have been following your activities in Upper Seattle. We will talk about Mako Ballistics when you return. One of your own captains? AWOL? He was seen with a gang of local thugs linked to the Knights Templar. He did a little moonlighting after the Tarsus raid by coordinating a prison break. Busy man. He's pinned down in the Inclinator right now, negotiating with the authorities for safe passage out of Seattle. I want you to infiltrate the facility and learn what you can about this betrayal. Then perhaps we'll be closer to understanding his actions at Tarsus Academy. What's the connection to the Knights Templar? Unclear. One of the commanders was facing trial and I guess Templar extremism appealed to some of our seekers. The church seems to be losing ground in disadvantaged neighborhoods, where the poor are quick to join any cause that makes them feel powerful. Alright. <clears throat> New goal received. Order Trader, find Lamar. Order, find Order Captain Lamar. He's a fugitive inside the Inclinator. Okay. There's an ammo clip on the table. Now let me see if anything in here is worth a multi-tool. It probably is. We've got a hundred credits, a scrambler prox mine, a spider bomb, and a noisemaker grenade. Well, I'm not gonna lie, that sounds useless, but I haven't seen it, so let's check it out. <coughs> noisemaker grenade emits an indistinct and non-threatening noise that can be used to attract attention. Detonates after a brief duration, or can be set to detonate on contact by using the alternate firing mode. I'd rather have a gas grenade. My seekers, you must now let's head down into this maintenance area. I see hostile spider bots. I have it. Let's use these prox mines if I can. I get both. I think I did. There's a med bot right here. How handy. Preparing wounds. Tissue viability restored. We can play with a turret. That sounds better. Let's do that. The Hunter Seeker bot is smaller and more maneuverable than a military bot, but its energy weapon system makes it almost as lethal. I gotta say, I like the I like the electrostatic discharge for dealing with these things. As long as I can get in behind them. Two 
to wax or take them down. Gotta love that. Anyway. Biological restoration in progress. Finished repairing damage. Alright, we got an ammo clip now. Medical equipment on board. Fragile. And an EMP grenade, also here by the medbot. There's my concussion prox mine that I grabbed earlier. And right there is an energy cell, which I can use to fill up since those little pricks took some away from me. Now let's head down here. Ammo clip. The second multi-tool model. And an increased damage weapon mod. Too bad I can't modify my melee weapons. That would be awesome. Alright. Church is clear now. Oh, you let's... Let's roll out of here. In case you haven't figured it out, just from reading the tool tips, it should be obvious that they canonized the first game in a hybrid of all three endings, which doesn't really make sense. I can see why they did it, but you read earlier that JC merged with Helios and also that he shut down Area 51 and caused a collapse, but... It was my understanding in the first game that destroying Area 51 would destroy Helios, but maybe I was wrong about that. The military bot is a large bot equipped with an anti-personnel rocket. It is typically deployed in open outdoor spaces. Heron's Loft Apartments. That landing pad is run by locals oh, called Sophia Sack. Looks like they seized Ziploc's Harrier, probably as payment for phony debts. It never hurts to have a pilot who owes you a favor. You could pay the debt, or better, eliminate Sack and her henchmen for the good of the whole neighborhood. Alright. Inside this dumpster, we've got a couple pieces of food and a multi tool. That SSC guard won't like me hacking the ATM. So let's crouch behind it and get it done. Got a whopping 600 credits out of it. See how much easier hacking is with Neural Interface at level 3? It's awesome. Alright, let's talk to the guard now. State your business. Just going for a walk. You scoping the place? Working for Sid Black, maybe? I've seen him around. He owes Miss Sack some money. We're keeping his jet until he pays up. Last thing we need is some stranger casing the landing pad. Can I talk to Miss Sack? What for? Maybe I can settle things on Mr. Black's behalf. You better not be feeding me a line. You wouldn't fall for something like that. I guess you're right. Through this door, take the hallway to the elevator at the other end. It's busted, so you'll have to climb the ladder in the shaft to the top floor. Miss Sack's office is up there. And remember, stay off the landing pad. Got it. Miss Sack's in the office by the landing pad, so that she can keep an eye on her property. You better not be pulling my leg. If you want to talk to Miss Sack, fine, but no snooping around. I'm here to make sure you deal straight with Miss Sack. Stop casing the place. I've got my eye on you. You better not be pulling my leg. He'll get angry if we go for the helipad, so let's just go in the main door to Heron's Loft for now. Right in here, apartment 21, is where the Queequeg's manager lives, so let's talk to him. Whoa, hey, this is my apartment. I guess I took a wrong turn somewhere. Who sent you? It was that Pequod's jerk, wasn't it? He isn't satisfied that he already has the zoning locked down for all of Upper Seattle and can keep me out. He has to play like a mafia don and send people to harass me. Well, I won't be intimidated. I won't. I didn't come here looking for a fight. If he wants to peddle his overpriced Pequachinos down here, let him. But I deserve a shot at those babyface executives uptown. What I need is a hacker. Someone to break into the civic manager's computer at the WTO terminal and approve my zoning petition. Business is good down here. I've got money and I want to expand. Sounds like a risky operation, but I take it you can afford to hire a few thugs of your own. Well, I'd make it worth a certain someone's while, that's for sure. 
Why do you ask? Know anything about government databases? Maybe I'll check back with you later tonight. New goal. Coffee Wars. Hack zoning database. Queequegs. Hack the civic manager's computer in the WTO terminal to approve the Queequegs zoning petition and collect a reward from the store manager. My shop's closed right now. Not a lot of late night drinkers in this part of town. I'd really like to tap into the overachiever market. They're the ones that get hooked on the stuff. Ever had a Pequachino? Tastes like laundry detergent. They put it through 17 stages of processing. Queequegs is all about the bean. You can't have a good cup of coffee without a good bean. A lot of those uptown feebs are health nuts, I hear. Our 100% organic drink menu is made for them. Well, I've got things to do. See you later. I'm not looking for a roommate. Hey, buddy, you're starting to give me the creeps. <laughs> we'll talk again when you have some news about my zoning petition. All right, he's got nothing else to say. Let's loot his apartment right quick. In here, we've got a soft key, Queequeg's coffee shop. We've got 25 credits, a book, our love affair with the bean we already read in the coffee shop in Upper Seattle. He's got some food and a med kit, binoculars, and another book. On Liberty by John Stuart Mill. I believe that the practical principle in which safety resides, the ideal to be kept in view, may be conveyed in these words, the greatest dissemination of power consistent with efficiency but the greatest possible centralization of information and diffusion of it from the center. This central organ should have a right to know all that is done, and its special duty should be that of making the knowledge acquired in one place available to others. Its advice would naturally carry much authority, but its actual power as a permanent institution should, I conceive, be limited to compelling the local officers to obey the laws laid down for their guidance. In all things not provided for by general rules, those officers should be left to their own judgment. Keep that in mind. Much later on when we choose our ending. Alright, we're done in there for now. Apartment 22 is locked. That's where Gobzilla lives. I'll deal with that later. Here inside the elevator shaft, which is broken as advertised. Let's check out the ground level first. Looks like a fire escape. Got a multi-tool here by the sink, and I think this is the other way in to this map from the slums. Anything behind these boxes? I do like how easy it is to break them by tossing them into the wall, but... Well, not this one, apparently. There we go. Alright, let's check this dumpster. There's some food. A wine bottle, more food, another wine bottle. That seems to be it, unless we climb up the fire escape and go after Godzilla, which, again, I'm not quite ready to do. Instead, let's climb to the top to Miss Sack's office, as we were advised to do. Landing pad is off limits. Well, we'll talk to this guard. Go on about your business. Hey, I was talking to you. Leave. Leave. All right. Again, he'll get angry if I go for the helipad. Let's not do that just the landing yet. Landing pad is off limits. They also won't like it if I hack their security computer. 
Ah uh, yes, another entrance to the fire escape and the helipad around the corner, which I still don't want to do. Hey, I was talking to you. Here's Sophia Sachs' office. So what's in here? A bathroom and a book. Uh, Inclinator is gatekeeper. <clears throat> We've read that already. So, let's check out this room. See what's worth getting into. Maybe everything. Well, that one's unlocked. No surprise, it's empty. We got another book on the bed. The Blood of the Champion. What is a game to most is a way of life to him. Everyone knows who he is. Every young athlete mimics his signature stare after a score. He has earned the largest endorsement contracts of any professional player who has ever lived. Each of us has watched the hollow sims of his extraordinary games, marveling at what the human body is capable of. So is it possible that Jerry Wildman, the man who captured the hearts of the world, could be returning to the league? WTO spokesmen are revealing that the former star of the corporate team has regretted his retirement and is planning a, and is planning an intensive program of training and nanotherapy to prepare for a return to the field. League rules are still unclear on the management of nano augmentation among players, but the return of Wildman may force the issue. Rumors abound that he is a candidate for Piezocam augmentation, and if true, his fading physicality will be rejuvenated, while his mind for the game has never been sharper. Next season will be an interesting one, and I recommend you purchase the entire season viewing package. I know I will. This one requires one multi-tool. I think this guy might get mad if he sees us opening these. We've got an ammo clip, a refire rate mod, and a data cube. Log in for sex systems. I'm going to be fired from this assignment and from SSC entirely if I accidentally set off the security alarms again. This is going to end just like Pittsburgh. I have got to be more careful about keeping track of this code. Login, Sophia Sachs security system stored in Data Vault. This one has two med kits pad is off limits. and a concussion grenade. What did I pick up and s ah? I have two stacks of med kits, so I really don't need any more. Let's get a concussion grenade instead. Leave. All right, I really don't need any more med kits. That's good to know. If this guy ever manages to make it out the door. Go on about your business. I'll open the last chest. <coughs> He's never going to make hey, it out of here. I was talking to you. There we go. Good job, buddy. The landing pad is off. Oh, limit. good lord. I'm about to knock him out just because I'm annoyed. About your <clears throat> Let's see, he dropped a shotgun <clears throat> and an ammo clip. Oh, this one's unlocked anyway. 50 credits and four pieces of food. Alright, with him down. Let's go chat with Miss Sack. Unless Sid Black sent you to pay his debt, or you want to bring me his head, you'd better let one of my security guards escort you out. What do I get if I bring you his head? That was a joke. I already have his jet. I don't have any use for a half pound of his flesh. Did you have some business to discuss? I need a pilot, but until Sid settles his debt, I can't let him handle product for the Omar. Wish I could help. Uh, I wouldn't do that. Let's talk to both of them. Are you going to pay Loverboy's fine or what? Why not make him work it off? He was working it off, then he lost a whole shipment of biocells to a WTO patrol. Alright. Wish I could help. 
I don't want to give her any money. And it looks like the guard doesn't want to talk to me. That's fine. First things first, let's shut the door. Hack this computer now that the patroller is gone. Turn off the cameras. Not gonna mess with the turrets just yet. Now that security is down, let's go to the helipad. This assignment stinks. So when did the SSC start hiring itself out as muscle for crooks? What makes you think this job isn't on the up and up? There's no way Sack's making this kind of money honestly. I bet she's a smuggler. And not only are the authorities looking the other way, we're working for her. Your evidence? You're starting to sound like a rookie. Sack isn't exactly discreet. When it comes to clientele, SSC should have better standards. We get paid just the same. That's the only standard that matters to me. If I come at... As soon as I step outside, I think these guards are gonna be so hostile. I'm hurt pretty yep. oh. I hate getting booted to the main menu. Whoever had that genius idea? Oh, goodness. Anyway, bots are quite resistant to bullets, fire, and poison. Oh, you don't say. Alright. Let's keep a better better eye on them. I don't know why I'm crouched. I really don't need to be. Oh, perfect. She's gonna come this way and isolate herself. That's great news. Alright, she dropped a pistol and a flash bomb. Neither of which I'm terribly interested in. Still don't know why I keep crouching. I can run silently. <laughs> He's down, he drops ammo, a shotgun, and an EMP grenade. Give me a Let's go ahead and roll in behind this guy. Let me see. <laughs> He drops a shotgun, that's all. And what do you know? There's an ammo clip back here. I believe these security computers are all the same. Alright, I let Sax Guard see me. <clears throat> she came after me. Didn't go so well for her. Shotgun and an ammo clip. That works just fine. Oh, oh, face. I don't you have a strong feel will, so Admiral. Good. That woman was trying to run us out of town. Now take care of her security force so that Sig can have his jet back. Alright, Sophia's down. Just an SMG in here. Or she just dropped an SMG, rather. Uh, now this is all cleared out. So, let's go into her hangar, which will trigger a map change. And at this juncture, I'm going to say that's enough segments to call it a video. So, quick save. Perma save. And 
that's it for now. This has been episode 5 of Let's Play Deus Ex Invisible War. I will see you guys next time for Miss Sack's Hangar, among other cleanup. Talk to see you then. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.